Today we're going to be going over the Prius C front lift installation. You're going to want to start by opening your hood, setting your parking brake, making sure your car is on a flat level surface. From here you're going to go ahead and pop your windshield wiper cap covers with the flat tip screwdriver. And you're going to remove your windshield wiper bolts. These are going to be 14 millimeter. Go ahead and press down on your wiper arms to get them to break free and remove them from the vehicle. Now go ahead and remove the driver's side portion of the plastic wiper cowl. And you're going to go ahead and grab that flat tip screwdriver again and remove two plastic push pins, one on each side. Then go ahead and remove the entire plastic wiper cowl. You're going to want to pry up on this and then pull towards you. Now you're going to want to remove the two 10 millimeter bolts securing the wiper motor to the vehicle. Be careful when removing this not to contact the edge of the windshield that does hang over and is unprotected. Uh, if you contact this, it can crack. Go ahead and grab that same 10 millimeter and remove the 10 bolts that are holding the metal wiper cowl to the car. Um, there's also going to be one nut that is securing it that you need to remove as well. Next, you want to remove the little angle bracket that holds the metal wiper cowl to the firewall and then go ahead and remove the entire metal wiper cowl assembly. Now there's two little plastic flaps that direct airflow. You're going to want to bend these down and pull it out. Now with your flat tip screwdriver again, go ahead and remove the plastic caps that are on top of the strut assemblies. From here you're going to want to go ahead and get a jack beneath your car and raise it up off the ground. Once you've got it up off the ground, go ahead and secure it with jack stands. And then go ahead and lower it down so that the vehicle is supported by the jack stands. From here, go ahead and remove your hubcap and then your wheel using a 21 millimeter socket and impact if you have it. With your wheel removed, you can now get to the strut assembly. You're going to want to start by removing your sway bar end link. This is going to be a 17 millimeter. With this removed, then you can go ahead and take off your ABS and brake line bolt. That's going to be a 14 millimeter. After you've got that set aside, go ahead and take your steering knuckle bolts out. These are going to be a 19 millimeter. Next, go ahead and lower down your knuckle assembly. Just be careful not to let it fold too far out, which could cause the axle shaft to pull out of the transaxle. Now you're going to go back up top and remove the strut nut. This is going to be an 18 millimeter. Now you can go ahead and remove your strut assembly from the vehicle. And go ahead and get it onto a bench. You're going to want to use spring compressors. You can rent these from your local auto parts store. Uh, they usually do it free of charge. If not, you can also purchase them online for a very reasonably priced, somewhere around $40. You're going to go ahead and compress the springs. Uh, try and do it evenly on each side. Once you've got it fully compressed, you can go ahead and remove the second strut nut that's on top. In order to do this, you're going to need an Allen wrench and an 18 millimeter box end wrench. Then go ahead and remove the spring retainer, the strut boot, as well as the bump stop. Go ahead and put those back in in the same order and put the lift spacers on top and secure them down with the 18 millimeter nut. And go ahead and tighten them down with an impact or socket and then go ahead and give them the final tightening with an Allen wrench and box end. Then go ahead and loosen up the spring compressor. You're going to want to make sure that the spring stays in the proper orientation on the strut. Uh, try and do these evenly as well, backing them out side by side until it's all the way loose. Once you've got these all the way loose, you can now see your finished product. This is going to be your complete assembly. You're going to want to go ahead and put your rubber isolator on the very top, and that will be secured to the vehicle. Now you're going to take your complete strut assembly and get it back into the engine bay. You want to make sure to get it centered with that hole before you put the strut retainer back on and the 18 millimeter on top of that. Now you're simply going to reverse the removal process. 
starting with the knuckle bolts, getting those holes lined up. Then you want to attach your 14 millimeter brake line and ABS line bolt. And last but not least, your sway bar and link. Then you want to go back through and make sure these are all torqued to spec, which are listed in your instruction templates. After these have all been tightened, go ahead and grab your wheel and put it back on the vehicle. Then you're going to want to raise the vehicle back up off the jack stands, remove the jack stands, and lower the vehicle back down. With your vehicle back on the ground, you can go ahead and tighten up your strut nuts. You want to get these somewhat snug first and then go back through them a second time with either a box end wrench and an allen wrench, or they also sell a specific strut nut wrench or a strut nut socket and make sure they are completely tight. Now go ahead and put your rubber strut caps back on, followed by your metal wiper cowl. You're going to want to secure this down with your 10 10 millimeter bolts as well as your 10 millimeter nut. And be sure to remember your metal angle bracket. Then once you've got these all finger tight, you're going to want to go back through and tighten them down and torque them to spec. Next you're going to want to reinstall your plastic wiper cowl. If you disconnected your windshield washer fluid line, when you remove this you're going to want to reinstall it before reinstalling this. Then you'll want to install your windshield wiper arms and the 14mm nuts that secure these. Last but not least, you'll want to reinstall your two plastic push pins, your plastic wiper caps, and your plastic wiper cowl corner. And you're done.